Welcome to Morning Prayer for Wednesday of Holy Week. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Today, if you hear the voice of the Lord, harden not your hearts. O God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your saving help. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and exult, for you rule the world with justice. With fairness you rule the peoples, you guide the nations on earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its fruit, for God, our God, has blessed us. May God still give us his blessing, till the ends of the earth revere him. Today, if you hear the voice of the Lord, harden not your hearts. Gloria laus et honor tibi sit, rex Christe redemptor. In the day of my distress, I reached out with my hands to seek the Lord's help. I cry aloud to God, cry aloud to God that he may hear me. In the day of my distress, I sought the Lord. My hands were raised at night without ceasing. My soul refused to be consoled. I remembered my God and I groaned. I pondered and my spirit fainted. You withheld sleep from my eyes. I was troubled. I could not speak. I thought of the days of long ago and remembered the years long past. At night I mused within my heart. I pondered and my spirit questioned. Will the Lord reject us forever? Will he show us his favor no more? Has his love vanished forever? Has his promise come to an end? Does God forget his mercy, or in anger withhold his compassion? I said, this is what causes my grief, that the way of the Most High has changed. I remember the deeds of the Lord. I remember your wonders of old. I muse on all your works and ponder your mighty deeds. Your ways, O God, are holy. What God is great is our God. You are the God who works wonders. You showed your power among the peoples. Your strong arm redeemed your people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph. The waters saw you, O God. The waters saw you and trembled. The depths were moved with terror. The clouds poured down rain. Your skies sent forth their voice. Your arrows flashed to and fro. Your thunder rolled round the sky. Your flashes lighted up the world. The earth was moved and trembled when your way led through the sea. Your path through the mighty waters, and no one saw your footprints. You guided your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Father, you established your ancient covenant by signs and wonders, but more wondrously you confirmed the new one through the sacrifice of your Son. Guide your church through the pathways of life, that we may be led to the land of promise and celebrate your name with lasting praise. In the day of my distress, I reached out with my hands to seek the Lord's help.
If we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with Christ. My heart exalts in the Lord. My horn is exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies. I rejoice in my victory. There is no holy one like the Lord. There is no rock like our God. Speak boastfully no longer, nor let arrogance issue from your mouths. For an all-knowing God is the Lord, a God who judges deeds. The bows of the mighty are broken, while the tottering gird on strength. The well-fed hire themselves out for bread, while the hungry batten on spoil. The barren wife bears seven sons, while the mother of many languishes. The Lord puts to death and gives life. He casts down to the netherworld. He raises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He humbles. He also exalts. He raises the needy from the dust. From the ash heap he lifts up the poor to seat them with nobles and make a glorious throne their heritage. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's. He has set the world upon them. He will guard the footsteps of his faithful ones, but the wicked shall perish in the darkness. For not by strength does man prevail. The Lord's foes shall be shattered. The Most High in heaven thunders. The Lord judges the ends of the earth. Now may he give strength to his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. If we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with Christ. God has made Christ Jesus our wisdom and our holiness. By him we have been sanctified and redeemed. The Lord is King. Let earth rejoice. Let all the coastlands be glad. Cloud and darkness are his raiment, his throne, justice and right. A fire prepares his path. It burns up his foes on every side. His lightnings light up the world. The earth trembles at the sight. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord of all the earth. The skies proclaim his justice. All peoples see his glory. Let those who serve idols be ashamed, those who boast of their worthless gods. All you spirits, worship him. Zion hears and is glad. The people of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O Lord. For you indeed are the Lord, most high above all the earth, exalted far above all spirits. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He guards the souls of his saints. He sets them free from the wicked. Light shines forth for the just, and joy for the upright of heart. Rejoice, you just, in the Lord. Give glory to his holy name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Father, you clothe the sky with light, and the depths of the ocean with darkness. Among the sons of men you work wonders, and rain terror upon the enemy. Look upon your servants. Do not try us by fire, but bring us rejoicing to the shelter of your home. God has made Christ Jesus our wisdom and our holiness. By him we have been sanctified and redeemed. The Lord God opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, 
my cheeks to those who plucked my beard. My face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. Through the Eternal Spirit, Christ offered Himself to God as the perfect sacrifice. His blood purifies us from sin and makes us fit servants of the living God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to His people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of His servant, David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare His way, to give His people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Through the Eternal Spirit, Christ offered Himself to God as the perfect sacrifice. His blood purifies us from sin and makes us fit servants of the living God. Let us pray to Christ our Savior, who redeemed us by His death and resurrection. Lord, have mercy on us. You went up to Jerusalem to suffer and so enter your glory. Bring your church to the Passover feast of heaven. You were lifted high on the cross and pierced by the soldier's lance. Heal our wounds. You made the cross the tree of life. Give its fruit to those reborn in baptism. On the cross you forgave the repentant thief. Forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy on us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, in your plan of salvation, your Son Jesus Christ accepted the cross and freed us from the power of the enemy. May we come to share the glory of his resurrection, for he lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This has been Morning Prayer for Wednesday of Holy Week. Morning Prayer is produced in Dallas, Texas, and brought to you by the Confraternity of Penitents. Sacred music is provided by the Benedictines of Mary, Matthew Curtis, and composer Kevin Allen. I'm David Rollins. Join us again weekdays as we continue to pray the unceasing and universal prayer of the whole people of God, the Liturgy of the Hours. <laughs>